Chief Deputy Matt Rodrigue with the Montgomery County Precinct 3 Constable's Office. What time were you guys called here and what did you find? Approximately uh, 3.20 p.m. today, uh, we were caught, received a 911 call here at the AT&T AT store at, in the 2100 block of Rayford Road. The uh, caller said that uh, several black males entered the store uh, displaying handguns and proceeded to steal cell phones, use cell phones, new cell phones, use cell phones, and then cash from the store. They then fled in a van uh, from the scene and were later located by uh, our deputies. Can you go into a little bit about the chase? Sure, no problem. Um, at, shortly after the bolo was given out, that suspect vehicle was, a, was a prox a possibly a minivan. Uh, one of our deputies observed a minivan matching that description, that possible description, on I-45 southbound. Uh, he followed it for a short period of time until a unit from Shenandoah Police Department arrived on scene with him to assist him. At this time, they attempted to uh, make a traffic stop with the suspect vehicle. The suspect vehicle then fled into Harris County, uh, gave a short pursuit. I believe it was not very long at all. Um, at, after this, the suspect vehicle crashed out. Uh, two suspects were apprehended on scene and then two others fled into the woods in the area of Rankin and Ella Boulevard in Harris County. Two suspects, the second two suspects were then apprehended, one by HPD K-9 and the second one by Harris County Sheriff's Office K-9. What are their ages? Uh, right now, the ma males, I uh, believe three of them are going to be in their mid-20s, one possibly in the mid-30s at this time. We're, detectives are still working all that out. Were there any injuries at the store? Customers no customer injuries, no deputy injuries of any kind. Uh, yes, the suspect vehicle did strike, I believe, one to two vehicles. Um, they're still working on that, getting that resolved. Uh, while they were attempting to evade deputies, but those uh, that, that's being worked right now. One of the suspects was uh, taken to the hospital due to injuries sustained during the apprehension at this time, yes. Do you know um, how many people were inside the store and then customer employee breakdown? At this time, we believe there's one, one customer. Two employees. That's what's been related to us. Did you recover all those cell phones? They're, they're on scene currently working on that. So um, unless they ditch some out during the chase, which they're, they're still actually actively processing that scene. So. Do you know approximately how many law enforcement officers? I mean, we saw so many. There's a lot. And can you talk about the effort and the outcome of this? <laughs> what you, what uh, we saw here today was what can happen when law enforcement agencies work uh, cohesively together. This was not a uh, single effort and it could not have been done without the assistance of the Shenandoah Police Department, Houston Police Department, Harris County Sheriff's Office, along with our agency. Was the helicopter up at any point? I do not know if, I don't know if Fox Rose up or not. But given the um, distance, you know, between the scenes and everything, is it, is it pretty amazing to you that you have this outcome where there weren't? This is, um, this is, this is a good one. Well, I'm, I'm glad that we were able to apprehend them. Uh, obviously, the able the the our ability to communicate with each other helped out a lot, and uh, just the deputies and officers being in the right place at the right time. We don't we don't uh, down downplay luck either when these things happen. We we we'll take all we can get to get some bad guys. Is this available to you? At this time, the detectives are still processing to see what they can recover. Do you know much about the men? Do they have priors, or have you got to that yet? The detectives are still looking through all that as of right now. They they will be booked in the Montgomery County Jail. Yes, sir. Rodrigue, just like Rodriguez, no Z. R O D R I G U E.
Back up, sir. K-E-I-T-H-N-E-I-S-H-A. And is it Kanisha? Uh-huh. Kanisha, this happened right in front of your house here. Yes, right, right in, in front, front of our house. house. Right T in front of it. Tell us what you saw. Well, well, we really didn't see anything. It's just what we heard. And we the guys having... just running, and they broke the gate down and stuff like that and everything. Apparently, they come from Montgomery County, we heard, and apparently robbed something or something like that. So all that we really seen was the police chasing everybody and all of that, and the dogs caught them, so... We glad they called them because they was running like right in the back of my yard. Cause we was just sitting here having dinner and we heard a really loud commotion and they just, we came outside and this is what we saw. All of this was going on outside right in front of the house. So, How scary is this? It's very scary because we didn't know what it was. They we thought we had broken our house or anything. Yeah. So. We thought they was breaking down our door. You know, what do you think about the police response? It was really, it was really quick. They was here quickly. Yeah, like right on top of the car. Really quick. I am. I am. <laughs> so I think they did a good job. Very good they job. They caught them Very in. Good job. So. What's your name, Yvette. Yvette, yeah. see mm -hmm. this her last name? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. You doing again? We was having dinner. We had just come oh. in from church and we were having dinner when we heard all of the commotion. It was like coming right down the street and then it came down here, then we heard the ambulance, like the, the police, like it was really close. And that's when we came mm -hmm. outside and we saw that they had ran behind here because we heard them when they ran back here. And then we came outside and that's when we saw the car right here and all of the police, it was like the police was here like instantly. They was here right on the spot and they called them. What were you thinking as, as you heard this noise? When did it dawn on you what was really going on? We didn't know what was going on. We, we, didn't, we had no idea what was going on. We just was really shocked. So we didn't know what was going on. And you were here with your family? Yes. We had just gotten in from church and we was having dinner. How thankful are you that it, it's ended the way that it did? I'm glad that it ended the way that it did. That they called them, nobody was really hurt. And it's over with, so. It's another yeah. one. They didn't want to spend your Sunday evening like this, but what happens when you do wrong and tell me about they ran back there what, yes what happened they uh, tried to jump over that they knocked over the, the uh, trash, can. trash can and kicked the fence in yes. so your name then, and then they jumped over the fence you bet and your last name uh -huh. Paul H-A-L-L -L? Mm -hmm. and um, and you saw it too or you know we just heard, heard it, it. We, all, we all just yeah. heard it so what do you think I mean you're you're, you're young you're here with your family what, what did you think of this no, I was just in shock that it all happened like so fast and like the guys ran back in the yard like they were just going up to the and I got a fence from the cops. 
How relieved were you to see that they got them? I'm kind of like joyful because nobody, you know, couldn't hurt someone. So I was really happy that they kind of caught them. And what's your name? Brittany. Brittany and um, Paul? Yes, ma'am. And how do you spell Brittany? Regular, like normal way. Okay. And how old are you? 18. 18, okay. So kind of a crazy way to end the summer, I guess? Yes. All right, thank you. Uh, what kind of time frame is that they, they took care of? Uh, um, my phone's about to die. 